This historic verdict comes just about 160 days away from the presidential election. Yeah, as everyone's eyes are on the polls, WDSU reporter Jonah Gilmore spoke to voters on the North Shore and also on the South Shore to get a diverse opinion. Jonah, what are the voters telling you tonight? Well, this verdict has uh, people on both political aisles thinking about the future, saying they don't know what's going to happen come election day. I thought few were maybe he'd find, be found guilty on a few, but not all of them. People across southeast Louisiana are reacting to news of former President Donald Trump being convicted of felony crimes. I think it's pretty bad. Um, I was not expecting that. We were very pleased to hear it. I think it's a great day for the rule of law. When it comes to the verdict, voters have opposing views. I think it was, you know, the jury was very brave to have done what they did and they listened to all the facts. I think if that case would have been held any other place in the United States, things would have gone differently. In 2020, 58% of Louisianians voted to re-elect Donald Trump. When asked if Trump's conviction will change their votes this November, voters tell me. I think people that are Trump supporters like myself are going to continue to support Trump. I don't think that's going to change. Personally, um, I don't know that I will be doing anything differently than I would have done before today. But voters on both sides of the political aisle agree this conviction of a former president is unprecedented and the verdict will overshadow other campaign issues, ones they say should be a priority. This is so huge. Um, you know, like I said, in my opinion, the loss to the country is just almost insurmountable. Donald Trump is going to continue to do what he's always done, which is tell a whole bunch of stories and lies. Those people also tell me despite what happened today, they hope people in their political parties take note and make the best decision for them and their beliefs. Reporting live in New Orleans, Jonah Gilmore, WDSU News.